I was listening to a debate going on today, this morning, um, with regards to Gen Z and whether Gen Z are lazier than the generations before them. And I would actually offer up and say, no, they are just more informed about their options and their choices yeah. and more prepared to step outside the norm of yeah. what your parents tell you you should be doing than any other generation has been prepared to do before. Yeah, because and it's I'm, more information available, right? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's more ability to see what other people are doing and yeah. questioning, do I want the same as my parents told me was yeah. available for me? Or yeah, do yeah. I believe I want to go down a completely different path? So I think big, big changes are coming. But whenever big changes are coming, there are always people who are tightly holding on to things as they were, because actually it makes them need whether they will but it makes them need to question their choices and the validity of the decisions they've previously taken and 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 challenging ourselves often is difficult right you know it's that yeah. that that process of being introspective and going you know are these things i still believe and things i i i'm holding on to because it feels safe is a difficult process. What's the what's the baby step towards getting ready for that change? What's the first thing that people need to do to get ready for that change? I think it's a case of reverse engineering. So working out what is it you actually want that next step to look like. If somebody could make, if somebody could wave a magic wand for you, and your next step could look like exactly what you wanted it to look like, what would that look like? And then to say to yourself, okay, if this is what I want, what do I need to do to go and get it? Yeah. And how do I get out of my way if there is evidence that I'm going to get in my own way in order to get it? And I yeah. think as we get older, we largely become more risk averse. And when we become more risk averse, we limit the horizon as far as our opportunities are concerned. So I think if we went back to the state that we were all born in as babies, confident, because every single baby is born with one particular trait in common, and that is rock solid confidence that yeah. we're going to get what we want when we want it and nothing and no one is going to stop us. If yeah. we can, as adults, peering down, let's moving to that next step. If we can think with the mindset of a baby with complete rock solid confidence that then starts to expose those areas that we are challenged by. It exposes those areas that we are scared about, and then it gives us a choice. We so interesting. The, that, the, the question that I love in, the, in this area is, if you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? Yeah, and, and And actually, then you can design, and, and, and the reality is we're all going to fail and get up and try again and, and do all of that sort of stuff in between. But understanding what you actually want, assuming that life's not going to get in the way, is the starting point for then to build backwards, isn't it? I, yeah. I really like that. I really like yeah. that.